After each restart of PM11, before the actual paper production process can begin, the paper web must be guided on the proper path through the machine. This is an exciting event every time. First the stock is fed via the head box between the wires of the wire section. At the end of the wire section, the wet paper web is deflected machine-wide into the first broke pulper where it is slushed with water and fed back to the cycle. It is only when the paper web is uniformly formed and, above all, reaches the necessary wet strength that the pickup suction roll is pressed with the circulating press felt onto the wire with the paper web. By the generation of a vacuum in the suction roll, the paper web is picked up from the wire and transferred with the press felt into the press section. After passing through the first, the second and the third press, the paper is detached from the last press roll by a doctor and led into the second broke pulper. With a high pressure water jet, a narrow tail is cut off the paper web in the press section on the felt and first transferred into the dryer section on its own. Over suction lead rolls and wire guiding elements, supported by takeoff doctors with blow nozzles, the transfer tail finds its long way over the dryers up to the end of the dryer section. As soon as the paper tail is running properly, the high pressure jet, which cuts off the tail, is led to the drive side and thus the full width of the paper web is sent through the dryer section. At the last dryer, the now finished paper is detached machine-wide with the doctor from the drying surface and deflected into the third broker pulper. Then another narrow threading tail is cut off with another high-pressure water jet and fed to the end section. As soon as this tail reaches the serious reel and runs off into the fourth broke pulper, the high-pressure water jet that cuts off the tail is guided to the drive side and thus the paper web run wide at the rewind. At the same time, during running wide, this paper tail is caught by the empty winding pole, the so-called reel spool, and the full width of the paper web is wound up. Wind up has begun and the machine constantly runs up to operating speed. In the event of disturbances in production, such as after a sheet break, the paper web must again be threaded from the sheet breaking point onwards. Each web threading operation always takes place at full production speed and fully automatically.